In this video, let's look at how we can dynamically control the visualization type or canvas of an embedded ad hoc view using Visualize.js. By default, all JasperSoft ad hoc views have a visualization selector that shows the out of the box visualization types that work with a view's particular data. You can allow end users to select these directly, or if needed, you can control which visualizations your end users have access to directly within your UI using Visualize.js. By default, your embedded ad hoc view loads with the visualization type that is saved, which we can see here when we change our spider chart to an area spline in the designer and save it. Reloading the page shows the new visualization type that has been selected. Now, what if you want to control the default visualization dynamically? or have a set number of visualizations available to users within your UI. Let's look at an example of this under the Module 2 Application folder, which you can download from the link in the description below. Opening main.js will show us our visualize.js code for these various ad hoc views. Looking at the second view on the page with our coffee scores, we can create a dynamic variable that we will reference called visual type. Let's set this to the line chart type. The syntax here for chart types will always be capitalized and we'll look at a full list of available types and how to reference them shortly. Now let's refresh our roastery page and we'll see the line chart render and change as we select the coffee profiles on the page. Opening our live API samples, we can also see a simplified version of this code under the ad hoc view, control canvas, set canvas type fiddle. In this case, we have data that renders in a table, and changing the canvas type to a cross tab, the CS styling in the page is also applied. But what if we find, for example, that our view doesn't have enough data to justify pulling up a cross tab, or doesn't lend itself well? to a bar chart when viewing a timeline. Let's open the dynamically from a list example code and have a look at all the visualization types that we can reference. Here we can see a custom function and array for pulling up all 38 out of the box visualizations that are available with ad hoc views. As we've seen, there are times when certain visualizations are not a good fit for a views data. In future tutorials, we'll also look at how you can use third-party libraries, such as D3, to add custom visualizations directly to your page using ad hoc views and visualize.js. For now though, let's look at how easy it is to make a subset of visualizations available as needed for your end users. Since we're looking at three metrics over a single category, let's use the multi-axis column and multi-axis spline visualizations. We'll also add crosstab where we can view the totals breakdown by country. In this case, we can set these three visualization types in our array since they are really the only ones we feel show all three metrics well together. This list now populates the custom dropdown viz type list that we have built in our application and updates when the value is changed in the dropdown to run the ad hoc view with the canvas types that are selected. We now decide to remove the default visualization selector with a few lines of CSS for the visualization launcher class name. In this way, you can run any default visualization that you want dynamically on start with the first render, while still providing the controls and visualizations of your choice within your UI.